What's up, YouTube? So I want to come through and talk about the whole uh, Mal from you know Joe Budden's podcast show. Um, you know that guy who co-hosts uh, Joe Budden's podcast show with him and another guy. So it's this dude named Mal. Mal. Interesting name, by the way, uh, because in Spanish, Mal means bad. I'm like, yeah, that's about right. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> but this Negro has someone exposed him. <laughs> um, they went through his Twitter and started doing some screen caps or, you know, it was cap you know, capturing screenshots and whatnot and captured all of his colorist tweets. And I'm not going to go through the tweets. Um, <clears throat> by the way, a shout out to Paris Milan. Um, you know, she was the first person who uh, broke this story and who reported on this story. Um, and as well, in her video, she goes through the tweets. So if you're interested in finding out uh, what exactly the tweets reference and what they talk about and what Mal talks about, uh, check out Paris Milan's video on the subject. But when I heard about all this coming out, well, sidebar, I don't really know this dude because I don't really follow Joe Budden's podcast. So this is like my first time hearing about this dude. Um, nevertheless, a lot of people know of him. And this is a moment where I think we need to have some conversations. All right. <clears throat> and also, a couple of people had um, asked me to talk about the subject. Um, I was initially thinking, you know, maybe I shouldn't talk about the subject. But then again, it's like, well, sometimes some things shouldn't be ignored and sometimes they should be ignored. It depends, right? <clears throat> so, with all that. All that being said, here I am, and I'll continue, all right? Let me continue. So when I heard all this, I was like, oh, brother, not another. Not now. Not another, man. Come on. <clears throat> this time, it's a, it's a tri-state area, nigga, all right? Uh, New York. And from what I heard from some... You know, black women here and there via social media, um, the black men in the tri-state area, especially New York, probably Jersey, too, um, be on some similar shit and, you know, definitely be, you know, swirling it up, right? And of course, of course, of course, it got to be a dark skin brother saying the most fucked up shit about his dark skin female counterpart. It always got to be a dark skin brother. I don't know. Majority of the time, it seems like I'm, am I reaching here? But it seems like there's a pattern. Am I reaching? Anybody? Y'all think I'm reaching? Y'all think I'm just you know, making up stuff? I don't know. But at this point, I don't think I can just, you know, pretend to be blind. Not that I ever was pretending to be blind. Not me, anyway. Not me. Um, to this bullshit that comes up a lot. Um, uh, but why is that? Why do you see, like, a lot? Not a Well, why do you see enough? dark-skinned black men engaging in this type of fuckery. Why do you see that? There seems to, again, there's a pattern to this. What reason or reasons do they have to disparage their dark-skinned female counterparts? Because I don't really think their dark-skinned female counterparts do the same to them. Uh, yep. 
maybe I'm missing something, but I don't know. I just don't see that same level of animosity coming from dark-skinned black women toward dark-skinned black men. Um, so this dude, Mal, he says that his tweets were jokes, right? Of course, that's where they all go to. It was jokes. <laughs> like, it was a joke. Can't you take a joke? You're so sensitive. Like, and also doubling down pretty much, right? He Like, if this was truly a joke, couldn't you just say, hey, I apologize. It was a joke. I didn't mean to offend anybody, even though we all know. What the things that he was he was saying in those tweets, those weren't jokes. All right, those weren't jokes. Those were very offensive, disparaging, and even disturbing comments. Saying one comment saying like if he was he, he if he saw a dark skinned woman drowning, he would add more water. So at this point now. His colorism is taking on a violent tone. It isn't just the usual colorism shit, like, oh, hair texture, or oh, you know, facial features, or oh, dark skin. Now it's um, a violent aspect to it. There's a violence um, aspect to it now. I, we got to have some conversations and talk about this because some folks like oh haha ha, it was just jokes and then a couple of weeks later we're looking on the news and we're seeing some colorism shit done popped off and some dark-skinned black woman done got you know attacked or, mur or murdered by some extremely self-hating violent demonic dark-skinned man colorist dark skinned man so you know this is we gotta be mindful of this stuff here alright <clears throat> and also you know he takes no accountability for anything he says by the way no accountability at all right it's, it's jokes that's all right? that's all they get and still you know arguing with people having back and forth with people. I think he uh, watched Paris Milan's video too, by the way. And um, a Paris Milan also had did a live stream about the subject um, too, about this subject too. And then I had caught one dude calling in, pretty much trying to low-key defend the dude, right? <laughs> and Paris, she was not having that shit. And I don't blame her. Because, like, some things, I'm just, like, I can understand, like, I'm not entertaining some things. Like, some things I'm just not going to entertain, right? Even, like, on my channel with me, I'm, like, some shit I'm just not going to be entertaining. Some of these some of these comments I'm just not going to entertain, all right? <clears throat> um, but to the Dark Skin Sisters, all right, don't be fucked up by this Fuck niggas, fuck shit. All right, don't. Mal doesn't feel this way because of who you are, believe it or not. He feels this way because of who he is. All right. Please make note of that. The thing is, he doesn't like the beast. He sees when he looks in the mirror. Because society doesn't place much value on men who look like him, as quiet as it's kept. So he, to me, like I know it's cliche, but I really think that, especially in this case, like these dudes have extreme like self-esteem and self-worth issues that I think they're going having some like internal struggle about. And the way for them to deal with that is to project their self-esteem issues and their self-worth self issues onto their uh, dark-skinned female counterpart. And as well, they may have some like mommy issues as well. 
Oddly enough, I think he has a dark-skinned mother and a dark-skinned twin sister. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure that, you know, his mother helped him get to where he where he is now in his life, by the way. Which again, very interesting, right? <clears throat> um, and also the thing is you can dislike something, but usually when people dislike something, they just tend to ignore it. Notice that. Usually they just tend to not really talk about it. They don't do what, like, they don't act like how he's acting. Just tweets after tweets after tweets about someone or a group of people you don't like. Versus just ignoring them. And also the dude is apparently, I think, a swirler. Um, he dates interracially. Shocker. <laughs> and by the way, I think black women, you just need to be thanking these non-black women for, um, you know, cleaning up the fuck shit and the bullshit and dusting the black community. I know that's y'all's favorite word lately. Um but yeah, just, you know, thank these women for taking these type of Negroes off your hands. So, you know, you don't have to deal with these, the frogs, right? But the thing is, when you dislike something, you just, oftentimes you don't really concentrate on it. So I find it's really weird that this guy is really concentrating on dark-skinned black women, right? <clears throat> and also, the thing is, like, in, 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 in any other situation, he would probably, if he disliked something, he would probably not even talk about it. Like, for instance, like, obviously, um, it doesn't look like he likes health and fitness, so he doesn't talk about it, right? I didn't see any health and fitness comments on his Twitter feed. You don't see him obsessing over how much he doesn't like health and fitness, He's just not talking about health and fitness. So why does this dude feel the need to talk about dark-skinned black women, right? Why can't he just be happy and satisfied being in a relationship with these Latinas or Hispanic women? Or I think he was on the uh, Latina Hispanic train. <clears throat> why not just if you were truly happy, wouldn't you just want to not concentrate on anything that's negative, right? Usually when people are genuinely happy, they try not to entertain negativity, right? They try not to oh, get wrapped up in anything negative because they want to continue their happiness. They want their happiness to perpetuate, right? Um, also, um, this is something I kind of need to bring up too, and I know some people going to get it, be in their feelings about what I'm about to say, perhaps, but I'm just going to say it anyway, all right? Um, why don't we see you, like, why don't we see light skin mixed biracial men coming out and disparaging light-skinned, mixed, and biracial women. Why don't we ever... When's the last time you really have witnessed that go down? Where some light-skinned, mixed, biracial dude in the media says something foul about a light-skinned, mixed, or biracial female. You know? Not on some like, oh, you know, I'm calling out colorism, but like just on some ignorant shit. Like, oh, you know, <clears throat> light skinned bitches got bad credit, you know. Uh, light skinned bitches um, got, you know, bad skin or something. You know, some ignorant shit, right? Why don't you ever see that? Right? And, you know, honestly, I think you may see the reverse happen a bit more where you might be more likely to see the light-skinned mixed biracial female come out and say something uh, low-key disparaging about a light-skinned mixed or biracial men before you know but notice that you don't really tend to see that for some reason 
And also, that's why some light-skinned mixed and biracial women get in their feelings when they come to my channel. And they see me speaking candidly about their colorism fuckery. And the same with some dark-skinned brothers, you know? But here's another question, you know, where are the good black men of all skin tones, but especially dark skinned black men, right, who say that they're not colorists, who say they don't think this way, who say, you know, they're one of the good ones, basically, right? Where are they at to get this dude together, right, and to set this dude straight, you know? <clears throat> Many times these so-called good dark-skinned brothers are just good brothers in general, but especially the dark-skinned ones. Many times these these guys, these dudes, will attack the person who speaks out against the anti-black colorism fuckery, but not the people who perpetuate and put the anti-black colorism poison into the community, right? Because this stuff is poison. Unfortunately, it is. Because <clears throat> a lot of women, unfortunately, especially younger, uh, dark-skinned black women, hear this stuff and they start to, unfortunately, get affected by it. And also, the mainstream media, you know, and um, the society outside of the black community doesn't really help, unfortunately. Um... Also, another aspect or another topic I need to talk about, um, Joe Budden. So does Joe Budden feel the same way? Because I, from what I saw, I think he was retweeting some of what Maul said. And like some other dude was in the mix, too. Um, so and we got to, you know, to be fair, we got to give, you know, Joe Budden the side eye and just ask him, hey, do you agree with this? Is this how you feel too? I think it's a valid question. I don't think that's out of bounds or out of line to ask that. <clears throat> you know, did Joe Budden ever check or challenge any of the colorist bullshit that Mal said? You know, a lot of times it don't even take that much to challenge or to check bullshit like that. Honestly, sometimes it could just be as simple as just, hey, brother, don't disrespect our dark-skinned sisters like that. You know, something along that, those lines, right? Has any of these dudes ever came, came out and said something like that when bullshit like this goes down? I don't know. <clears throat> All right. So, black women. You got to address the black women, especially brown-skinned, dark-skinned black women. This is just... I'll just go in and just say it. You have to use situations like these to establish and reinforce a standard in regards to what you will and will not accept and tolerate. These, like, situations like this is when you need... is what you need to use to make a statement. Don't be mad and in your feelings, but by this time next week, you're back to supporting Mao and calling him all types of black kings just because he maybe he maybe threw you some um, whack ass apology and maybe uh, big up some dark skin chicken in the media like Amara Negra or Kelly uh, Kelly Rowland or something. <laughs> like oh, that's a black king right there. <laughs> Because you know some black women will just fall for the okie doke every time. Um, also, um, I know this is going to sound a bit controversial. Some folks going to be in their feelings about this. But I'm going to say, y'all need to start getting back at these niggas who be coming at y'all like this. Now, um, like, unfortunately, I can't do it. Because if I get back at these Negroes, then it takes on a colorist tone, right? And then dark-skinned folks, the whole damn collective, you know, looking at me like I have uh, colorism um, biases and hatred against dark-skinned folks, which 
isn't the case, but if I say something that is equivalent as far as a colorist insult for a colorist insult, then folks going to be looking at me crazy. So, <clears throat> so what I'm saying is, y'all need to start getting back at these fuck niggas, alright? Fuck black unity, fuck black love, fuck staying on code, fuck keeping the peace, fuck all that shit, alright? Pop off on these niggas, alright? Say some, just say some fuck shit about them. They ain't perfect. Shit. Talk about how damn ashy they are. Shit. You know, heck, if you want to talk about violence, make some jokes about these niggas getting shot down in the streets by the cops. If you want to perpetuate violence, mild, talking about adding more water to drown a dark-skinned chick, right? You know, these dudes, a lot of times, don't be having... A lot of these times, a lot of times, these dudes probably aren't even literate, honestly. Not even functionally literate, a lot of the times. And then again, you know, y'all just be letting them clown, y'all. <laughs> y'all just be letting these fuck niggas clown the shit out of y'all. And I just find that a little funny, because... The thing is, like, a lot of times, like, y'all got so much mouth when it comes to everybody else, especially your fellow black sisters, right? You'll call her all kinds of bitches, hoes, sluts, whores, cunts, bedwinches, mammies, pygmies, weave-wearing bitch, um, you know, caked-on-makeup bitch, etc., right? But when it comes to these fuck niggas, all of a sudden, y'all can't speak. Y'all scared or something? Y'all just be letting these fuck niggas give you all types of self-esteem and mental health issues. They got y'all out here bleaching your skin, wearing weave wigs, contouring your face, this, that, and the motherfucking third. You know, but y'all like, uh-uh, you know, black love. I gotta, I gotta hold down the community. Um, you know, the black rock, the black queen. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, I guess. All right. Um, and right now, even, watch some black women run to his defense. Right. And coddle him. Watch. That's probably going to happen at one point or another, too, where some black woman is going to come out and try to, um, you know, get some type of a token or some sort of a butter biscuit. She want to be the token. She want to get a butter biscuit, right? And start calling and defending Maul and the men like Maul who, go, who come and just say fucked up color of shit, right? Because they may feel like, oh, it don't apply to me. I'm not ugly. You know, some dark-skinned chicks fall for the okie-doke with that, too, right? Oh, you know, it can't be me, you know, because I'm a good-looking dark-skinned chick, right? <laughs> and then the light-skinned chicks be acting like, oh, it don't apply to me. I ain't dark-skinned. Well, and perhaps it doesn't, but when it comes to the light skin and really these non-black women, I'm like you kind of need to watch out for these type of dudes, too. Because these type of dudes, they ain't... I don't know. I don't really think they are really going to be offering you a loving, healthy, fulfilling relationship. I don't think so, based on how these, this guy is acting. I don't think he's going to offer you much in that way. He'll probably get you knocked up. And then leave you a single mom, maybe. And then complain about having to pay child support if he even pays child support. <clears throat> you know, and probably cheats on you. You know. Because that's the thing, too. Like, a lot of times, these dudes, once they get the light, bright exoticals, white chicks or whatever, a lot of times, you know, these light, bright exotical white chicks or whatever, they end up getting played. <laughs> They end up getting played, too. <laughs> like, no, you're not, you know, the special exception to the rule, you know. It's like, 
these dudes they like you but I don't think they like you out of from a sincere place I think they like you because of what you represent more so which is like non-blackness or perhaps proximity to non-blackness you know having some proximity to non-blackness and also you know them trying to deal with their inner issues by getting like a quote-unquote bad bitch right because society says that these women are quote-unquote bad bitches right <clears throat> and again a black woman will probably end up running to this dude's defense especially if he gets caught up in some police brutality bullshit now after all who else is going to do it I know I, sh I sure know as hell these non-black women ain't going to be doing it and even these light-skinned mixed biracial chicks probably not even going to be doing it you know who going to come and jump to the rescue <laughs> you already know that brown skin and dark skin black women they're going to be protesting on the streets, you know, posting videos on social media. And then there are probably going to be some black dudes coming in the mix talking about, ah, that ain't nothing. You know, they don't do nothing, right? Still shitting on you anyway while you're still trying to do something, right? And then you're just going to you just gonna take it and you're just going to, you know, let that shit go and let it slide because you perhaps have been just so beaten down that you low-key just believe what these niggas say about you you believe it I think some of these some of these brown-skinned dark-skinned women have unfortunately been so beat down that they don't think of themselves as a prize they don't think of themselves as worthy of being respected you know they don't think of themselves as being entitled to what women in general are entitled to when it comes to relationships and just in within society, you know, and you know, that could be like a whole nother video in itself. Um, but you know, I think I've touched on pretty much uh, the majority of what I wanted to touch on. Um, so I think that's all I have to say for the moment. So thanks for watching. Please feel free to comment and let me know what you think. Until the next video, adios and goodbye for now.